How's it going everybody? My name is AH Money and today we're playing some Black Ops 2 with AH Sphinx and I'm pretty sure I fucking destroyed his name but he's German and I am not so I don't have that German accent to pronounce it so I deeply apologize but his name will be spelled out in the description below. He'll also have a link to his channel. Definitely go check him out. He's got other beast ass Black Ops 2 gameplays all 100 pluses and in this gameplay in particular he's going to go 180 plus while playing solo he's going to be utilizing the escort drone, attack dogs and swarm. This gameplay is actually pretty unique in the sense that when most high scoring gameplays someone is utilizing a VSAT. That is not the case in this game. He's actually using all assault streaks and he's actually running solo so he has no support. So he's got very good map utilization and knowledge of where the enemies are which in the long run helps. Because if his teammates don't know where the enemies are he can definitely rack up a lot more kills and that's exactly what he does. Now if you guys aren't familiar with me I am usually seen on AAH the pub stopping channel but today I'm actually getting a guest commentary on the elite channel so that's why you're listening to me here you can also check me out over there or you can check out my channel either or no big deal my primary purpose as a commentator is to keep you guys entertained while you guys enjoy these beast ass gameplays so today's commentary is going to be about being yourself and it's actually going to relate closely to YouTube and also to your personal life if you're in that situation where you're kind of in between knowing what you like out of life or what you know about yourself and as you grow and get older that's definitely normal so don't worry about all that but on my channel I happen to do a series consisting of how to grow on YouTube and I focus it more along the lines of what a younger youtuber would go through because I myself am a smaller channel in comparison to someone with 10,000 or 100,000 subscribers so I actually have gone through a few things that I've learned and I kind of pass those on to some of my subscribers as I go and this is one of the other questions that I usually get how are you so comfortable with commentating how does it come so natural and honestly the only thing I can equate it to is being yourself and finding out who you are now I'm gonna go through a life story with you guys and hopefully you guys can somewhat relate even though my circumstances are gonna be very different than say the teenager of today when I was 19 I was in the Kuwaiti desert and right before that we were prepping to go into Iraq for the invasion to start a freaking war which is pretty cool but also it's not if you're under 21 you probably shouldn't be overseas so definitely take some time and consider your options before joining the military that's gonna be my only two cents in regard to that scenario but right before going over to Iraq you gotta go through a lot of things mentally in your head especially when you're a young teenager and I'm not gonna get into all that kind of stuff but of course you think about am I gonna make it back I have all my friends and family at home I have friends over here and of course as time progress you do lose friends and you do lose soldiers along the way because it is combat and it is war and it's not Call of Duty you don't get a reset button so people do die and that's just how life goes but once I came home I had a very different mindset and it wasn't the mindset of a crazy person it was the mindset that I realized very young that you only live once and you have to take advantage of every little detail in life no matter how small medium or large it is and the first example I actually had of this was when I came home I was hanging out with my younger brother and I went to the mall in my local town and I saw this girl she was really pretty and I told my brother you know what I'm gonna go talk to her and get her number and of course you know we're still we're still young I'm only 19 at the time still and my brother's 17 and he's like you're not gonna go talk to her she's way better looking than you and I told him you know I'd rather say that I did and got rejected versus leaving this mall and saying that I didn't and wish that I had and ever since then I've lived my life on that same principle and I actually ended up talking to that girl and we dated for about two years it was the worst two years of my fucking life and I'll regret it but at the same time that goes back to my philosophy that I've used ever since I rather wish that I hadn't had met her in that mall and dated her to this day versus thinking back in life and saying I wonder what would have happened if I would have talked to that girl I probably would have been married by now had kids and blah 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 and all that good stuff and basically you're probably thinking well how can I equate that scenario into my life as is well basically from that day forth I'd always say you know I'm gonna do as I wish and I'm gonna regret the consequences later on now I'm not gonna go rob a bank because obviously that's morally and ethically retarded but in a sense of life and just in YouTube I'm going to be myself and if people like it they like it and if they don't they don't and that's just how things have to go and that's what you have to equate life to in general because I run into a lot of people who are young youtubers and just different people in general in life who try to persuade themselves in a different persona than what they actually are and that's only because they're not comfortable in their own skin but once you realize that people are going to like you for who you are or dislike you for who you are you have to take the good with the bad and you have to take your lumps with your sugar I don't know if that's a saying I think I just invented that that's just copyright if you use it in your video I'm gonna flag you but no seriously 
Be who you are and just stick to the script that you're used to. Don't try to be someone that you're not. Don't try to impress people. And I know when you're younger, and I can definitely still relate even though I'm a lot older than obviously I was when I was 19, but I know what it's like to still feel peer pressure. I know what it's like to stand in front of a bunch of people and want to fit in or be in a group where you're not familiar with and try to be someone that you're not. Just try to take key notes from what people are saying and try to fit in. Well, as I've gotten older, I've realized that you know what? I might not fit in with this group and that's okay because life's not perfect and everyone is not meant to get along. We've got prey, we've got predators, the fucking perfect harmony. You can't have a little bad without a little good and that's just how that goes. So definitely be yourself. Remember that you can't force yourself upon people. A lot of people do that and they end up with negative results and don't know why. Just be who you are, stay true to yourself and remember that till the end of days and you'll be good to go. Also remember, do a lot of dumb shit. Do a lot, a lot of dumb shit. You'll get familiar with yourself very quickly once you do a whole bunch of dumb shit. You'll you'll realize, I like that dumb shit, or you know what, that was a big fucking mistake. But at the end of it, you'll say, you know what, I'm glad I did that and realize that I didn't like it or I did like it versus I wonder what would have been like, you know, 10 years ago if I would have just took that chance or took that opportunity. And also that equates to YouTube. If you're ever watching these videos and you're thinking, you know what, I wish I could do that, I wish I could try that. Why wish when it's just as easy as purchasing some equipment and putting it to the test. So remember all that. Catch you guys next time. AH Money out.